If you follow me on Instagram, then you know I like to drink coffee and I use different mugs almost every day. I have about five favorites that you see quite often, but I do like to mix it up. People give me gifts and things like that. And I have one that Thomas and I share. And someone made a comment on a post last week that it would be really interesting to see my mugs on a shelf. And so I said, you know what, instead of me putting my mugs on a shelf and showing you that, how about if I just make a quick video to show you the collection of mugs that I have. So stay tuned to see those. Hey friends, so I decided today to um, show you my mug collection. My coffee's brewing in the back. You can hear it gurgling probably. It's almost finished. By the time I set this video up, it was almost complete. I like to do things in 10 minutes that it takes for my coffee to brew. And this is one of the things that I'm going to do today. And to just show you a collection of mugs I have. And maybe they have each of them probably has a story behind them. You know, not a big deal. Um, so here are some of the mugs that I have. Um, okay. So this particular mug, I'm gonna show this one first. This is a Starbucks, Starbucks like gold leaf mug. It was given to me by my friend Lizette. Um, she's New England Betty Boop here on YouTube and she's Posh's um, My Purpose on Instagram and everywhere else and her husband Andrew, um, the Posher Den. And I met them in Massachusetts when I went to film a podcast episode and do a meet and greet and she had given me a gift and I didn't open the gift until I got home. I just put everything in my suitcase and when I got home, this beautiful mug was inside. So it's it's become one of my favorites. I don't use it as often because I'm afraid that the gold leaf will come off or something. I don't want it to break. So I probably drink out of it like a couple times a month. Um, and I received this back in November, 2019. It is May now, 2020. So this one right here from Starbucks. Anytime I post it, it it's a crowd pleaser. People really like this one. Okay, then I'm gonna show you my other mugs. I do not spend a lot of money for mugs. I am a person who likes to go into the dollar store and see what kind of mugs they have. There are days that you can go in and they you could tell that they've just put out a fresh inventory and my goal is like, okay, so oh, maybe I can get one for every day of the week, but then I try not to be greedy and I like designs. Um, I like fun colors. I like fun shapes. I like um, that the, they're, the fact that they're a dollar. So I've probably never spent more than $3 on a mug. Nope, I'm gonna take that back. Um, only for like business things. And I'll show you a couple of things where I've spent like a little bit more money. But for the most part, just for my everyday mugs, I don't spend a whole lot. So these are these are two coffee mugs right here. They are cafe, one says cafe cappuccino, and one says cafe mocha. These were from the dollar store. Um, I went in and I was like, oh, these are nice. And I always try to get another one because I like to have coffee with my husband, Thomas, who is Pasha Dude X. And so these are um, like really cute, a dollar. Like people spend so much money for mugs and they don't have to, it doesn't have to be the same plain, you know, ones. And just to stay in line with that, I have four that are similar and then these are the oldest ones I have and I'm probably going to get rid of them because I'm looking at them and they're chipped. I use them every now and then or I use them for like guests or if my kids want to <laughs> have coffee because I don't want them breaking my other mugs and so these are similar to the ones that I just had and I got all of these from the dollar store all at one time. So this one right here, this one says you know sweet coffee, cocoa um, and it's chipped right there so I'm probably going to um, get rid of this one soon and then this one I got the same time it's the same mug but in a brown pull that back and then this is the same mug in the blue and you can see you can clearly see that chip right there is that something if I didn't have so many mugs I would probably go into like designer mood or artist mood like I usually do and try to figure out a way I could keep them but all of these have chips see Cause I've probably I've probably had these the longest. I think I bought these before I even married Thomas. These are probably eight years old. So those are all of these together. So a dollar a piece. It just shows that you don't have to pay a lot of money for mugs, mugs, coffee cups, whatever. Okay, this is just a plain green one. I like 
really big coffee mugs if I can find them. Just a plain green mug. And this one, Today's Home, I think I put purchased this at um, Family Dollar. And I think this was a $2 mug just because of the, it's like heavy and then the size of it. But I didn't pay that much for it. Just a plain green. It's one of my favorites. This one is going to go soon because inside you can't see. There's like a, a, a slight crack in the inside and I really like it. Um, now that I have all these mugs out, I'm getting to see that. <laughs> there are some that I just don't use every day, um, but I do like this one. So I might have to use this one for my coffee because my coffee's brewed in the back and I'm probably going to have to use this. Um, but there's that. Um, these right here were given to me. Um, I took a chance. Someone, um, one of the people who are in my community, my followers on Instagram was like, oh, what's, what's your address? I want to send you something. And so I gave her my address. Um, we've been, we have been communicating very nice lady BB on um, Instagram. And she said, what's your address? And I gave her my address. And then within a week, a package came. It contained some other things, a candle and some other things. But she sent me matching coffee mugs, one for me and one for Thomas. And so here they are. They say coffee, super cool. You know, um, he has, he doesn't drink as much coffee anymore but um, he'll drink tea and we have took, you know, we had to do like a photo op. And if you look through my Instagram feed, you'll see a picture of he and I with um, our coffee mugs. Okay, this one is definitely old. Um, I just used this the other day. It's really nice, but when it gets hot, it's hard to hold with the handle, especially if you're trying to take pictures, like do a photo op. And this says coffee. This was also a dollar store buy, and I had a blue one, but that one broke, and this one is actually chipped too. This is another one that came with me from my old house um, eight and a half years ago before I married Thomas. So as you can see, the older they are, and I like to use them as long as I can. They're not chipped. It's not chipped around the um, the rim and I just like this I like the color so I don't use it often and what I've been doing lately is again is going through the cabinet just to see you know what mugs because some of them um bring back memories and also it reminds me of a time when I decide you know um to treat myself I talk about that often like when I talk about my early journey journeys with reselling and I say that when I started it was like a hobby and I just wanted to make money, even if the, I could get myself some fingernail polish or something um, on a Friday. And that's how it was when I was working. Before I met Thomas, I was a single mom. I had four um, children at home. They were minors. And I would work. I was working two jobs. And so I had to find things that I could buy or something to treat myself. And just going into the dollar store and finding myself a coffee mug, that lifted my spirit. So I would probably go, you know once a week or every two weeks when I got paid with a $5 goal, maybe something sweet, you know, maybe something practical that I needed for home. And then also treating myself to like coffee mug or something, you know, um, it was before I shaved my hair, um, maybe something I could use for my hair or whatever. So the, that's how the coffee mugs got started because it was something that I can treat myself to that was only a dollar. So I have like a few more, um, these are two, I don't buy myself things for like Christmas or anything. So these are like gifts um, from our former co-workers. This one right here, ho, ho, ho. It had, it was filled with candy and I only pull it out around Christmas and I usually only, only use it for like photo ops. And here's another one that I got um, my last manager from my job. This is a very nice mug. The only thing about it, it's a very nice mug, but you can't, it's not dishwasher safe or anything like that. So wash by hand, but the, the foil um, it's coming off. The coloring is coming off. So probably one more Christmas. And, and then again, I might give it away. A lot of these mugs will probably, I probably give them away because I'm moving. It's May. I'm moving October, November, and I don't want to take a lot of things with me. So I'm going to have to really whittle it down to my absolute favorites. And then that'll give me opportunity in my new state to find some new ones, right? And so this, I used to belong to a group called the Artisan Group. I'm a crochet designer. And um, we um, were a group of ladies and men who designed some whip. Some people were, um, designed jewelry. Some people were crochet artists. Some people designed um, cards and different things. It was just like a huge group. And we um, 
where a group we gifted things to like celebrities and they would do shout outs and things like that. And it would help grow our business. If you go to Surprise Designer on Instagram, which is my crochet design business, you'll see a lot of celebrities wearing my things um, there. And so this is the artisan group and you could choose the mug that you like. And of course this mine is a crochet and then other people would have like jewelry or whatever. But this says the artisan group member, Leslie D. Tucker, and that's that. The only thing about some of these mugs, they're so small. So like this right here, I don't use often. I'll probably keep it for a long time because it's just nostalgic, but it's tiny. And as you can see, compared to this, like which one would you rather have if you really need it? Like, you know, a coffee buzz. And so I think it's talking about small ones. This is my new mug. Um, and I, I design these on my um, merch website. So if you're interested in merch, I sell shirts and all kinds, leggings and um, um, hoodies. And I designed this for my new brand, Am I Really Bald? And you can find me on Instagram talking about that. And so these are for sale and all tons is tons of ones for the reselling community. I have cancer survivors and all that. So it's great that if you sell things to advertise your own swag. So this is Am I Really Bald? And I also, for the reseller community, I have a reseller's passion ones. And I give them away sometimes, but I have some if you want to be my community member. I have shirts and, and mugs and um, all kinds of stuff that celebrates that you're a part of my, my tribe. Okay, these right here, I like to have mugs so when I travel. Um, I used to take my daughter to school or to the bus or different places or run my kids to school. So I also, I have to have like a travel cup, especially in the morning when I was going to work. And I keep them. These literally were only a dollar. Um, these are the cheaper ones. You can get three for a dollar that says Rise and Grind. So this is this one and these like three for a dollar. So I like to do give these as giveaways. And then I have these right here. Same thing. They were three for a dollar. Um, it was two white ones and a black one. The white one, I don't know where it is, but Thomas and I share if we're going somewhere. Three for a dollar. So check your dollar store for travel mugs. You don't have to spend a lot of money. I don't invest in anything that says like Starbucks or anything like that. Personally, unless I was at like, you know, a thrift store or something and I came across, I love to go through to see if they have any mugs, especially that I can resell. And that happens a lot where I can find something maybe for 50 cents and then I have to say, hmm, do I want to sell it or do I want to keep it for myself? But like you can't beat three for a dollar. Really good plastic, like so the, the top stay on, really good for you. And they stay hot too. Okay, so the last five mugs, these are the ones you probably see the most. They're my favorites out of all my mugs. Um, I'm about to show you this pink one. And... Um, it makes me sad now that I'm looking at them that some of these I'll probably give away all the ones with the chips. I'll probably, um, cause they're taking up cabinet space. But this is, I like this one. You see this one a lot, this etched. Um, I got this from Family Dollar. I paid $2 for this one. And I, I really like the etching in there. It's really nice. And of course it's like another big mug. And pink is my favorite color if, in, if no one knew that. And so it's chipped in a couple places but I'll hold it for a while, um, a couple more months. I'll probably, if it stays um, the way that it is, I'll probably just hold on to it till just before I move because again, I don't wanna take things that I really don't need to take. This particular mug, I actually made, I, I did this for my old job. I needed a mug for my desk that I could leave at work and that I wouldn't be afraid that someone would take. So the mug itself, I purchased this at the dollar store like just this white mug. And then there were decals. This is a peel off decal. Um, it's It's been on here for a year. I've been home a year and a half. I got this, I put this together probably um, two months before I left my job. So it says, Shh, I'm on my coffee break. It's one of my favorites. Literally, it cost me $1.50 because this was a pack of two um, I have a smaller one upstairs that hasn't even been used, but look for some cheap mugs. And then for people who have cry cut machines or whatever, design your own mugs. You don't have to pay in a lot of money. Like this was a dollar. This is, you know, people who want to use like white mugs and things like that. This one. And this one right here is one. I found this at the dollar store. It says Nam Namaste in bed. And then the, the cat says, don't stress me out. And um, this was a dollar. As soon as I walked into the dollar store um, a couple months ago, probably about six months ago, I found this. It has a little like 
this is baked on you can hear it um and i so i looked around the store on the aisle to see if i could find another one and there wasn't another one so i bought this as is it was a dollar it really i didn't waste any money and that's the only place that it has something wrong with it so i pull this out every now and then like you know my um, self-care sundays or when i'm in like a yoga mood or i just want to feel like zen i will pull this out and people love it and me taking photos with it and this one right here i purchased this on etsy um two years ago i'm i'm a crochet designer not a knitter so it says too legit too legit to knit because i'm a crocheter people think it's really interesting and they comment all the time two years ago and it's starting to kind of scratch up but i'm going to hold on to it until you can't see anything else on here so there's that and this particular mug right here it is probably my absolute favorite right now um it's a couple things about it i really like the color it looks like it was handmade because it doesn't have the name of a business or anything like someone put it through the kiln and I purchased this. I walked into Goodwill. It was in the back. I got this for Goodwill. It was 50 cents. Like, I, I like it. But um, recently, I see that it has, like, a little scratch there and um, that it's messed up. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my collection of mugs. This is the one that I decided to use today. Coffee in there. Thank you for watching, friends.